So which one of these can you have when you're on shore patrol in a foreign port? That would depend on which country's military you're a member of. As a Marine, I was stationed in the Philippines for two years from 1990 to 1992. And I was an MP, so from time to time we were asked to accompany shore patrol from the different ships that would come in so that we could kind of guide them and be their backup and show them around Olongapo City. One night in particular, it was the Australian Navy who had a ship in port. They asked for some U.S. support, and so of course they asked us to go with them. So we're walking around out in Olongapo City together with the Australian Navy. We're doing shore patrol for two reasons. One is obviously to keep the peace in case something bad happens. But the second part is to not only reassure the local population that we're there to handle our problems if there is one, but that to remind the military people who are on their liberty that we're there and we're watching. So don't be too crazy, don't be too stupid. And trust me, I have so many stories about crazy and stupid from my time in the Philippines. I'll get into that later. But this particular evening, we're walking around, we're stopping in these different establishments and we get to one and the NCO in charge of the Australians says, and, and I'm not gonna do an Australian accent, okay? I'm not going to insult Australians that way and I'm not gonna embarrass myself. But he says, just imagine Australian accent, right? He says, Hey, we're getting kind of thirsty. Um, do you guys want to get something to drink? I, as the NCO in charge of the US folks said, yeah, yeah, let's do that. It's a good idea. And so we walk up to the bar. He says, how many beers are you guys having? And I started laughing. I'm like, we, we can't have beer on duty. He simultaneously had the most surprised and disgusted look on his face. And he's like, that's weird. <laughs> yeah. He says, what are you drinking then? And I said, well, we, we're going to drink Cokes. And he says, all right, I guess we'll drink Cokes too. And he was so sad looking afterwards, like like I just taken away something from him. So we grab our, our Cokes and he tells us that, yeah, they're allowed to have beer in uniform while they're on duty, as long as they kept it reasonable. And reasonable to him, for he said for his weight was two an hour, but he said he knew some guys there that could drink a lot more and they were just completely fine and within the rules. Now, I, I never looked into the veracity of his statements, right? I don't know exactly how true that is or was, uh, this was 1991. Now, I won't even get into the fact that he had a beard. That's, that's a whole other issue entirely, but yeah. It was definitely a different time.